hey students so here we are gonna trace a parabola y equal to x square by using the characteristics of curve tracing that we have learned so guys to trace the parabola or to understand the shape of the parabola i'll start with the first property which i've taught you that is the point of intersection and that will see the critical point and then by using that we will trace the parabola now guys uh, i told you that there are six seven properties that we are gonna learn in tracing the cartesian curves so whenever we have any curve we can trace that curve by multiple characteristics so it is possible to trace the parabola by using some other properties as well so you can use any method to trace the parabola but use the method which is shortest and which can give you the quickest answer so guys right now as i've taught you only two characteristics of parabola i will be using those two characteristics to understand the shape of the parabola so let's start so first characteristics that we have seen is point of intersection with coordinate axis so let's find out point of intersection with coordinate axis for which i taught you we have to put x equal to 0 and find out the value of y so let's put x as 0 so by putting x equal to 0 0 square will be 0 y will be 0 and then we put y as 0 to get the value of x but when you will put y as 0 your x will be 0 it means you will get the same point so guys this is the point of intersection with coordinate axis so this curve that is the parabola is gonna intersect the coordinate axis at 0 comma 0 second let's see the critical point so how do we get the critical point so for critical point we find out the value of first derivative of the curve so your curve is y equal to x square so i'll find out the value of f dash of x and that is nothing but 2x so i told you the de definition that critical point x equal to c is such a point at which the value of f dash of c is either zero or does not exist so guys can you tell me the point c at which this curve will be zero or does not exist yes that point is zero so at x equal to zero this will become zero so that is f dash of zero is becoming zero so i can say that x equal to zero is my critical point because at this point i am getting the value of f dash of x as zero now if we put x as infinity then we will get the answer as infinity so x equal to infinity can also be a critical point but since x equal to infinity is again an infinite point we will not consider it over here so right now we will say that x equal to zero is our critical point now guys based on the critical point how should we draw the curve so let's see that so let's revise the concept that we have done so in the critical point we have seen that between any two critical points we understand the nature of the curve so to understand the nature of the curve we require two points but here in our case we just got one critical point so here i'll write it down let's say the first critical point that we got is zero so what we'll do is to understand the nature i'll consider other two points as infinity and negative infinity so here between this first region that is zero to infinity i'll understand the nature of the curve and similarly in the second region we'll see the nature or the shape of the curve so the first region that is 0 to infinity here i'll write 0 or first of all less than x less than infinity and for second region here we'll, here we'll write negative infinity x and 0 now to see the nature of the curve or the shape of the curve between the point 0 to infinity we will find out the value of f dash of some point a 
now what should be that point is so you can consider any point so here i'll consider that point as one so i'll find out the value of f dash of one at the same time we'll find out the value of f double dash of one and based on that we'll decide whether the curve is concave upwards or downwards or increasing or decreasing so let's find out f dash of one so i'll put that one here so f dash of one will be two into one that is two and to get f double dash of 1, we have to find out the value of f double dash of x here. So that is equal to 2. So when we'll put 1 here, here we have constant, so answer will be 2 itself. So guys, it means here we are getting the value greater than 0 as well as this value is also greater than 0. So now let's draw the curve parallelly. So let's say this is x and y axis and this is the point 0 comma 0 which is our point of intersection. Now let's say that this is infinity and this is negative infinity and this point is 0. So since the value of f dash of 1 and f double dash of 1 both are greater than 0 we'll see our cases so according to it whenever both derivatives are greater than zero we say that the curve is increasing and concave upwards so our curve will have shape like this so guys let's come here our curve is increasing and concave upwards so increasing means from zero to infinity it will increase and concave upwards also it is said that the point of intersection is 0 comma 0 it means whenever it is increasing this end we don't know it will extend till infinity but the other end will meet at 0 comma 0 so here will our curve will look like this so i got the curve or the nature of curve in 0 and infinity between 0 and infinity now let's learn or let's find out the nature or the shape of the curve between minus infinity to zero and for that we have to consider another point a so here i've considered that point as one so here we'll consider as negative one so for that we'll find out f dash of negative one and f double dash of negative one so f dash of minus one will give us minus two which is less than zero and f double dash of minus one will give us two only which is greater than zero so first derivative is less than 0 means curve is decreasing and the second derivative is greater than 0 means curve is concave upwards. So decreasing means from minus infinity to 0 our curve or the shape will decrease and it will be concave upwards. So this is negative infinity this is 0 so it is decreasing so it will come down from minus infinity to 0 and it will intersect at 0 comma 0 because that is our point of intersection so it will look like this so guys this is decreasing and concave upwards so here we got this shape of parabola so you must have understood that how this parabola <coughs> So you must have understood that how this parabola will look like. So curve tracing gives us the rough idea about the shape of the curve and where that curve will intersect the x and y axis. So guys, this is the first parabola. Now we'll see the another parabola, we'll trace another parabola. So here i have equation y equal to 4x minus x square and for this again we'll follow the two step process so step number one we'll check the point of intersection so guys see here for that we'll first put x as 0 so when we'll put x as 0 we will get y as 0 and then we'll put y as 0 so when we put y as 0 see here we will get like this 0 equal to 4x minus x square or I would say 0 equal to x into 4 minus x which will give us x as 0 or x as 4. So guys here we are getting 
x as 0. So if I put x 0, here I'll get 0 comma 0, but we have already covered that point over here. So I'll take second value of x that is 4. So here we will get 4 comma 0. So guys, it means the point of intersection for this parabola is 0 0 and 4 comma 0. Now let's see the second characteristics. So second characteristic is critical point. So guys, we are going to find a critical point for this given curve and based on the critical point, we are going to see the shape of the curve. So for critical point, we know the condition that the value of f dash of x must be 0 or does not exist. So for that, we'll find the derivative. So derivative of 4x is 4 minus 2x. And at the same time, I'll find out the value of f double dash of x to learn the shape of the curve. So derivative of 4 is 0 and here we will get minus 2. Now guys, to get the critical point, the value must be 0. So can you tell me the point at which the value of f dash of x will be 0? Yes. So that point is 2. So when x is 2, this will be 4 minus 4 that is 0. So here I'll say that x equal to 2 is critical point. So guys, it's very easy. Whenever you want to find out a critical point, just do one thing. Take that value of f dash of x and equate it to 0. So this will give us 4 minus 2x equal to 0 or 4 equal to 2x and x equal to 2. And whatever is the value of x that you are getting is your critical point. So x equal to 2 is the critical point. Now based on the critical point we have to draw the shape. So to draw the shape of the given curve what we'll do is we will consider the we will consider the range and in the range we will take the two critical points because we have seen a concept where to learn or to understand the shape of the curve we want the two critical points now here in our case we got only one critical point that is two so we don't know the other critical point so here we'll consider it as infinity and negative infinity so it means i am gonna understand the nature of the curve between 2 to infinity and then between minus infinity to 2. So for that between 2 to infinity we have to consider some point A. So let's say that point is 3. So at 3 let's see what is the value of f dash of x and f double dash of x. So here guys the between 2 to infinity the value of f dash of 3 equal to so this will be 4 minus 6 and that will be minus 2 which is less than 0 and similarly the value of f double dash of 3 so that will be minus 2 itself which is less than 0 so guys it means between 2 to infinity we are getting the first derivative as well as the second derivative as less than 0. So let's see our case. So here we have seen that whenever both derivatives are less than 0 that curve is decreasing and concave downwards. So let's draw the curve here. So I'll use the first sheet itself. So this was the curve y equal to x square. Now we are drawing the curve y equal to 4x minus x square. So guys here first of all let's plot the point of intersection. So here the point of intersection is 0 0 and 4 comma 0 so 0 comma 0 means this point 
and 4 comma 0 let's consider it over here so this is 4 comma 0 so let's say this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so these are the two point of intersection now we are finding the nature of the curve between 2 to infinity so this is the point 2 x equal to 2 till the infinity now guys here the value both values are less than 0 it means the curve is decreasing and concave downwards so it will have a behavior like this so it will be concave downwards okay now the question is where my curve will intersect okay because see my curve is intersecting at 4 comma 0 it has the nature of concave downwards and decreasing so it will have shape like this okay so the point is 2 so from 2 to infinity it is decreasing but guys 2 is not my point of intersection so my point of intersection is 4 okay so to get the shape we will wait for some time and we'll get the shape of the curve between 2 to negative infinity so let's go for that so between negative infinity x and 2 we'll find out the value of f dash of let's say i'll take that point as 1 so for 1 we will get 4 minus 2 into 1 that is 2 that is answer is 2 greater than 0 and f double dash of 1 will be minus 2 which is less than 0 so whenever first derivative is greater than 0 it is increasing curve and second derivative less than 0 that is concave downwards so guys in this range that is negative infinity to 2 it is concave downwards but it is increasing so now let's come to the point so it means let's say this is the point 2 so between 2 to negative infinity we are getting increasing so it is increasing and concave downwards and guys understand that curve should go through this point 0 comma 0 so it means it will have shape like this something like this now between 2 to positive infinity what we got is the curve is downwards and decreasing so decreasing means should go down and downwards so we'll have shape like this and it should pass through 4 comma 0 because that is our point of intersection so our curve will look like this so guys here we got the parabola by sketching the curve by using the characteristic so here we got the general idea about the shape of the parabola how it will look like and now based on the shape you may solve the further integration question so basically in the integration we get such curves which we have to draw and then we have to solve or evaluate the integration so here i have told you how to trace this curve that is the parabola y equal to 4x minus x square and then you can evaluate the integration so guys here i have shown you one method but this parabola can be traced by using other methods as well and for that we have to learn the other characteristics so based on the other characteristics you may trace this curve by using the other characteristics so i'm sure that you understood this both parabolas how to trace a parabola and how to get the general idea or rough shape of that parabola so we'll meet in the next video where we'll see the other characteristics of tracing of curve and how to trace the different curves thank you